finally back. <sighs> I forgot what fresh air tasted like. Um, 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 um. <sighs> Freedom. <sighs> A cold. <sighs> Mainly cold, actually. Let's go. Where's our next stop? We should find somewhere to put our feet up. As long as it's not Goethe Hotel again. Classic unreliable Sampo. He probably guessed we'd ask where his hiding place was. No sooner are we back in the administrative district than he sneaks off. No way! The boss will recognize us! Plus, Silvermane guards are stationed nearby. We'd be offering ourselves up on a silver platter. Don Hung, what do you think? I think it'd be best to pay a visit to Serval Landau. So, you think we should avoid Jepard for the time being, right? He's an elite officer of the Silvermane Guards. It wouldn't be easy to get to him. Besides, if he hasn't been persuaded by Branya's letter, We'd be walking right into the lion's den. Hmm, makes sense. Guess we better head over to Sir Val's workshop then? Hmm. But we must keep a low profile. We're still wanted fugitives. What's wrong, Zila? Nothing. It's just a little... new. The last time I was on the surface, I was still a child. I have no memory of any of this. The overworld and the underworld. We've... we've been cut off for so long. I'm okay. Let's go. There are so many Silvermane guards on patrol. Is it usually like this? No. I don't remember the security being this tight last time. It might have something to do with us. The Supreme Guardian has probably learned of our arrival already. Branya. Who is it? Shop's closed today. You'll have to come back tomorrow. Not interested. I need time, not money. Serval! We came past here before and helped you fix a few things. Remember? <laughs> what? Ah, I remember. The three outsiders. Wait, why are you still strolling around the city? Do you know the Silvermane guards are looking all over for you? Quick, act natural and get inside. Don't get spotted. <sighs> all right, you'll be safe here. My workshop has pretty good soundproofing, and barely anyone comes in. Just what crime did you commit, exactly? They recalled a bunch of guards from the front line to track you down. It's unprecedented. Now they're patrolling the whole city, and everyone's in a panic! Oh, we just... Not yet, March. Branya said we could trust you completely. You mean to say you don't trust me completely? Good! That's smart of you. But you needn't worry. Kokolia and I aren't even on speaking terms. It was her that ejected me from the Architects. I refuse to stand with her. I don't believe you guys would do anything bad. And the Architects are going to need conclusive and publicly available evidence for me to think otherwise. Besides, I know the Architects, and if they did have any evidence, they would have released it by now. I know Kokolia's style. Get everyone into a frenzy first. Most people in a frenzy don't stop to ponder the details. <laughs> me? None. What Kokolia and the Architects get up to has nothing to do with me. My time is too precious for pondering. These days I just spend my time fixing things in this workshop and playing music. It's a pretty carefree existence. If I'm not careful, I'll start boring you all with sob stories from the past. 
Let's get back to you guys. If long lost Branya told you to come here, you must have something important to tell me. You can trust me. I know our paths have only crossed once before, but my intuition tells me you guys are good people. And I've got good intuition, by the way. <laughs> Try not to embellish the facts. So that's what's been happening. No wonder we hadn't heard from Branya recently. After all these years in isolation and without a single word from below, this is what's become of the underworld? I believe you. There's no way you could have invented all those twists and turns. What's more, we have Miss Zila here as living proof. As for the Stellaron, I know why Branya got you to find me. When I was still one of the architects working in the scientific research division, I was researching the Stellaron. I never thought I'd hear that word again after being expelled by the architects. Come on. I'll tell you everything. Only a very few people in Bellabog know of the existence of the Stellaron. Those that do would never associate it with the Fragmentum or Eternal Freeze. But according to the data recorded in that robot, Svarog, the architects dug out the truth long ago. The research results were purposely hidden away to ensure that the outside world would never know of them. Just my luck. Out of all the research topics I could have chosen, I insisted on the Stellaron. It's clear now that anyone who wanted to get closer to the truth would have been expelled or abandoned. Maybe I should be thanking Kokolia. All she did was push me out. She could have decided to take a more permanent measure. I figured out that the Stellaron and the Fragmentum were linked, so I was already close to the truth. It's a shame that the Architects ejected me before I could discover that the source of the Fragmentum was the Stellaron itself. Before I lost my position, I was applying for permission to survey the Stellaron directly. It was my research topic, but I'd never even set eyes on it. My research was all based on historical data and lab simulations. Not long after I submitted my preliminary report and application, I received my punishment. It was obvious that somebody didn't want my research to continue. Kokolia, it's been so many years since we last spoke. We were great friends once. There was nothing we wouldn't share. She became a completely different person when she took on the Supreme Guardianship. The convictions she once held, her enthusiasm, it was like they were drawn out of her by some mysterious force. She gave the order to expel me herself and refused to see me. I never understood that behavior and I gave up trying to use logic to work it out a long time ago. Sometimes I even wonder whether she really did become a different person. Is that possible? Perhaps there's a single guardian consciousness that gets handed down from generation to generation. And the real Kokolia has already vanished. Is she being compelled by previous generations of guardians to make such baffling decisions? <sighs> Who knows? But this might make for good songwriting material. Jepard? Not a chance. He's a decent guy, but also famously uncompromising. For my brother, orders are more important than anything. Even if you stuck Branya's letter to his forehead, he wouldn't be swayed. You need to choose your words carefully if you want to persuade him of something. 
It might be best if I talk to him. Though, I'd need a strategy first. Yes. I never observed it directly, but I used lab simulations and outbound surveys to establish a rough location. According to the survey results, the Stellaron is likely to the north of Bellabog, somewhere in the vast snow plains. We must locate it as soon as possible, ideally before Kokolia takes action. Can you tell us the way? <laughs> Not a problem. I was thinking the same thing. But I'm afraid telling you might not be enough. The area to the north of Bellabog has been more or less swallowed up by the Fragmentum. If you want to get to the northern snow plains, you'll need to get past the Silvermane Guard restricted zone on the front lines first. Even if you get past the restricted zone in one piece, you'll have a whole heap of Fragmentum to deal with. Yes. That's where the main force of the Silvermane Guards is stationed. They've consolidated their position there in order to resist the encroaching Fragmentum. It sounds like the three of us and Zila might not be enough. Why don't we go back underground and get Wildfire to come with us? I fear we may not have the time. Hey, enough pessimism. Back in my official capacity days, I spent a lot of time in the North. I got to know the soldiers and officers on the front line very well. This calls for brainwaves, not brawn waves. How about I take you over myself? Really? Great! Phew. It's less scary if someone you know is leading the way. <laughs> I want to see the Stellaron too, you know. It was my research topic for over a decade. You don't get that many decades in life. That's settled then. There's no time to lose. We should head out as soon as you're ready. 